Hello, my adorable children. This is ExidiaSide.exe, where you guys, WWE 2K24. We are going to be playing a game mode called My GM Mode. Now, this is going to definitely be a little interesting playthrough due to the fact that you guys are definitely going to see how I manage a business quite like WWE. <laughs> and I see Lilith and Sydney are here. Hello, my two adorable children. Hello, Lamia, Gabby, Silkadoom. Who else is here? Ah, uh, yep. Hi, Gabby. You get kisses. Anyways, uh, unfortunately, you guys are not able to hear, like, these guys talking due to the fact, well, uh, creator safety mode, which only allows me to basically do that. I got boot. But anyways, because of creator safety mode, yeah. I can't have you guys hearing what they're saying, but at some point the actual thing will come back on. Hello, Destiny. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to be working, or you guys are going to be seeing me work on keeping WWE afloat, making sure that it's a profitable business. So. They're going to actually be working on my business chops. Hmm, let's see. There's fucking Tyler Breeze, Cody Rhodes, and Xavier Woods. You have a bad history here, dear? These two idiots. Now then, let's actually get on to this. Let's see. We have Adam Pierce, who we can choose. Increases the levels of all active rivalries by two. Then we have Sonya Deville as my general manager. Power cards in the store are free and grant two copies when purchased this week. Now, Stephanie McMahon earned twice as much money from area... The attendance this week, that one is good. Xavier Woods, select a superstar from an opposing brand's roster. They will permanently join your roster next week. The selected superstars may not be a title holder, not usable in week 1 or 25. Tyler Breeze, quick recovery, all of your superstars immediately recover 15 stamina. Uh... Eric Bischoff, oh boy, I don't even want him anywhere near my businesses, especially what he did, with, especially when he was, you know, WCW bound. Uh, w, uh, it says double all shows, linguistics, bonuses this week, excludes area capacity, tickets, costs, and show capacity. Oh wait, I'm thinking not of Eric Bischoff, but the other dude. Anyways, let's see. Mick Foley. Select an opposing brand. Two superstars who participate in their shows next week will be injured. Select that random cannot be used in week 25. Now, that is some hardcore shit if I ever heard some. Ted DiBiase, aka the Million Dollar Man. All matches are free to book this week. It says, um, ties two per season. Select an opposing brand, all superstars on the, the roster lose five popularities at the start of next week, and this is William Regal. Paul Heyman, the man himself, our newest Hall of Famer. All promos this week are free and have their results doubled, if applicable. Hmm. Let's see, Theodore Long, player, removes all matches, bonuses, and quality boosts. The plus set match, 
gains to I mean gain to very low for all opposing brands and next week's show cannot be used in week twenty five. And because the students are selected, students are on your roster to immediately increase that level to twenty and become legendary. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, who should I go with? Honestly, this one sounds good. For and freaking Paul Heyman sounds incredibly good. Hmm. Hmm. Also, Eric Bischoff does sound a bit good. Stephanie McMahon sounds enticing. And finally, that's Sonya Deville as well. Let's see. You know what? Let's go Paul Heyman. ECW Time to get extreme, ladies and gentlemen. And the and the custom draft will use to the slave side, okay. Oh wait, huh? I didn't know that. Hmm, who's... Oh wait, obviously. My only fucking opponent. Ah, uh, Lord X. Of course, WCW. MX. of course. Oh wait, no, we already got NXT. So I guess there's other cannot be booked in matches next week. So I the matches booked for this we will see a large match reading post. So you can do all with the draft. I need to check something. I miss if I oh. Oh wait, actually, hold on. Sorry about that. Paul Heyman, of 
course. Does block all opening all opposing brands from using three randomly select champions in next week's show. Oh wait, did I know that? You know what? Actually, that Paul Heyman on SmackDown. As much as I want to do ECW. Oh wait, no, ECW is the one with the. Hold on, actually. Nah, I'm going ECW. There's a fact that technically ECW is the one that has only three championships, and that does help me. Now let's see, because it allows me to stay focused. Of course, God, Raw is War. Uh, let's see. Give him SmackDown because it'll be interesting. And of course, Lord X at the ending here. Where is he? Where are you, you damn demon? There you are. You get WCW. There we go. Would you like to convert these brands and Dion so yep. AI difficulty normal. The AI will make more intelligent choices the higher the difficulty setting. Let's see. Two mid card matches during regular show, three during PLE, small budget. Reduction in later seasons. Medium morale threshold for keepers and superstars like and the high morale thresholds for keepers and superstars quitting. Small increases to oh shit, no. Let's see. One mid card match during regular shows. Uh two during PLEs. No budget reduction in later seasons. Low moral threshold for keepers. Reduces injuries starting. Any assistance from Triple H. Alright, let's start with that. And let's go with the highest. It says, turn order reverse next week, every week. Uh, round robin. Brand rotate through turn order from week to week. The brand who takes the first this uh, turn this week takes their turn last in the following week. It says turn order is determined by rank in reverse order. The brand in first goes last and the brand in last takes first, okay? Shake up. Turn shake up for the game on and off. Draft pool determines which shippers are available for drafting. Use custom to create your own draft pool. Let's see. Contract, contract, contract. Contract active. Contract. Contract. No, oh, hey, active is fine. Active. Active. Active, 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 active. Yeah, this is a lot of lingu- this is a lot, a lot, so we gotta make sure that we're actually doing this. Hmm. Inactive. 
active, make Molly Holly active. Everybody just needs to be active because uh, if they're not active, then we don't have. We can't really be making interesting matchups and stuff. Let's see. While I am competing with my contemporaries, we're actively completing, competing to put on the best shows possible for all the consumers. Ooh, locals. Okay, locals, locals, locals. Yeah, a lot of locals. A lot of locals. A lot of locals. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Select. This method of drafting superstars is either done manually by the player or... No, uh... Start with a few match types unlocked. No, classic. Starts with all match types unlocked, correct? Now let's start the draft. Now let's see. Now let's look at the thing. Interesting. I'm sure I'll... Just piss and you go well. Uh, I'm reading the chat, people, so I know what y'all doing. Huh. Why are you getting PTSD? Oh, each GM will start with a budget of three thousand, no, three million five hundred thousand. GMs will take turns drafting one another. There will be blah 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 blah. Okay. With their first pick. Let's see. Now I'm going. Now that we have like a more complete roster, it is actively time that we pick those who will embody extreme in such a fun manner. Let's see. I'm gonna get, I'm definitely gonna get some good, some really good things. So starting off with, of course, The Undertaker. The Undertaker. The dead man rides again on a new night. A big mm. man and a big start for this GM. So this is raw. Let's see. Exactly a top prospect, but a little motivation can go a long way. Mm. Let's see now. To do the McIntyre. Mm. AJ Styles. AJ Styles. A phenomenal pick for SmackDown. AJ Styles. A guy who can do everything. Great to start with. Pain. The big red monster looking for that ECW title again. He will step on next to grab that brass ring. Mm. Raw selects the mid. Raw's must I keep Raw must see. And so do I. And of course the new day should all be on SmackDown. Uh, let's see, who else embodies the, the what what it means to be extreme? Damien mm. mm. Priest, Rikishi. Let's see. Shotzi. I'm 
I like shots, he definitely, is definitely what we need for extreme. The Drew McIntyre. Kevin Owens. This brand has become the KO show. This man is one of the hardest workers around. Great pick. Hmm. I feel like Drew McIntyre would do better on ECW. Charlie Flair. Oh, yeah, our truth. You think our truth knows he was just drafted? This guy's a fan favorite with a lot of upside. Now for SmackDown. SmackDown needs something cool, so I'm about to get SmackDown. Where is he? Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes. The GM didn't miss because they picked up Melo. His high risk style should play well for this show. Now ECW. They're all written by the Undertaker. Undertaker. Undertaker and WCW. What's next? The Dead Rising? I can't deny his passion. Good guy to have on your side. Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Balor about to pass judgment on a new night. A man who will put it all Ronda Rousey. Great anticipation for SmackDown's fourth pick. SmackDown shoots. Of course, Charlotte Flair. The Queen's throne is on SmackDown. A major roadblock just came up in this division. Mm, we're picking ladies. WCW selects. Mella making her new night fabulous. She is ready to go the whole nine yards for this brand. Mm. To Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. McIntyre aimed to lay waste on a new night. A guy who will dig into the trenches. Good to have on your side. Shotzi. Shotzi. Shotzi brings the ball pit to Raw. Her high flying style should get her traction here. The Megastar LA Knight. LA Knight is on a new show, and I'm sure he has a lot to say about it. Guaranteed to bring the fight to a new night. Rey Mysterio Jr. Rey Mysterio Jr. The legendary Rey Mysterio Jr. Ready to have even more legendary matches. This guy might just soar over Rock all Thank you, bitch. The man is coming. Uh, Ska. Is a huge addition for this show's roster. Jinsuke Nakamura. Strong style has indeed arrived on this brand. If passion alone won matches, he would have been picked number one. ECW selects Damian Priest. Damian Priest is taking aim at a new target. This guy thinks he's better than those early picks, and he's right. Smackdown drafts Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley, what a choice for the blue brand. She takes the fight to every opponent. Good choice. WCW drafts Shawn Michaels. The impossible. WCW drafts Shawn Michaels. In WCW. Pro tip this guy will have a good match with anyone. 
Who else embodies ECW in a good way? Chad Gable. Oh, Solo Sikoa. Joining a new brand. Watch your back. The wise man reunites with his bloodline enforcer. Mm. Ross Alex, Ivy Nile. The Pitbull, Ivy Nile, bringing the fight to a new brand. A down and dirty brawler. She is great for this brand. WCW chooses Chatting Lorenzo. Stax brings his hard-nosed talents to a new night. I couldn't have made a better pick than this guy. <laughs> ECW picks Tommaso Ciampa. The methodical Definitely Tommaso Ciampa. On a new night, the brand felt Incomplete without this guy. Great late pick. Braun Strowman. Strowman. The Strowman Express arrives on Raw. A man on Kobe the Kingston. Brand's main event. Duke. WCW picks MVP. Business is booming with MVP on a new brand. With his amount of fight, he won't lay in wait. How much I have left? So let's see. I need to get some quality picks. Bray Wyatt. You select Bray Wyatt. A new show is ready to let Bray Wyatt in. Fury in his veins. He'll make a mark on this show. Chad Gable elevating the athletic bar on a new night. Only a matter of time before he reaches his potential here. SmackDown picks Otis. SmackDown selecting the big man Otis. This guy is hungry and he is ready to work. WCW picks Omos. One more really good superstar. ECW chooses Dexter Loomis. Dexter Loomis is about to creep out a whole new show. He's been looking to reach that next level, and Paul Heyman just might be the GM to allow him to Luke get there. Gallows. Down chooses Dominic Mysterio. Dominic Mysterio, quite the pick for the blue brand. He's gonna make his name at anyone's expense.
WCW drafts Giovanni Vinci. Vinci bringing style, class, and respect for the mat to a new brand. He's no stranger in taking the fight to the limit. A look at the formidable talent on this brand. Raw looking to add to its haul with another pick. Raw, let's see. Raw selects Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso putting himself first on a new night. This guy's a human highlight reel. Smackdown drafts Natalia. The veteran Natalia looking to bolster a new roster. She's got all the tools necessary to succeed. WCW chooses Montez Ford. And here is a new roster of Monday Night Raw. Mm -hmm. The SmackDown roster is now complete. Look at the big boys and girls on the WCW roster. Yep. And here's the lineups after the draft. Let the games begin. Yeah, we have no ladies on our end. Everybody else got the ladies, though. And that's to certify the ECW doesn't have any women's titles. To enter the Hall of Fame and prove you are the best, be the first DM to grow. I mean, to own 10 Hall of Fame trophies at the end of the season tie are broken by the most fans and the most cash trophies can be awarded through either career achievements or seasonal challenges. Enter the Hall of Fame will allow you to continue playing or retire your safe while. Okay. Tonight is the night. The debut show. We have high hopes for you. I'm trying not to let you down. Good. But we've done we've gone ahead and added 50k. A to your war chest to ensure that your debut is a hit. Make it an amazing show. The women's belts are unavailable for ECW brand. Okay. So let's see. We don't have any ECW champions at the moment. And I kind of want to confirm my selection because you have earned this power card from the basic power card or superstar perk. Injury rehab reduces injury time for one for three weeks. You have earned this power card from the basic power card superstar perks. Double the cost of an opposing brand's matches for next week's show cannot be used in. Okay. Hmm. He's waiting to see your first show fares. Ensure that Tommaso Champion cuts a promo this week. Okay. Surpass. Okay, we can do that. Oh, yeah, we can. Here's the books to show, here's the linguistics. Concert hall. And uh, how much do these matches cost first? The main event. ECW Extreme Rules match. No, wait. You know what? Hold on. Dude, this is the main event and we don't have any champions? Let's see. Four-way Extreme Rules match. The Undertaker. Who else? Damian Priest. Bray Wyatt. I meant to see Drew McIntyre. Title World. Of course. No interference. Cost. There we go. Hold on, I'll be right back.
I apologize for that. Now, as you guys can plainly see, yeah, I am trying to make ECW a hit. Uh, let's see, participate. We need Tommaso Ciampa to cut a promo. Let's see, make card. You need a tag team. Extreme rules. Hmm. Shit, I don't think we have it. Hmm. Dexter. I need to get more. We need to get more people. You know what? Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna wait on that. Hold on. Scouting talent. Let's see. Rookies. What in the world? Harley Race, huh? Big Man Vader. Who starred us? Hmm. Okay, let's... Icon. Of course, males. All right. You need more cash or talents got to be searched. Okay, let's see. Renowned stars. Get them, but they cost you that much. Damn, Big Van Vader, you would actually be really good in ECW. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, we, we're starting at the bottom of the barrel here, people. So let's see. We're gonna have one match, one actual match. Very Mysterio Jr. Kane. Of course, I know how it's barred. The ECW Television Champion, which is the speed car title. Let's do the last man standing match. These two. Joe Linguistics. GM assistants. I oh, mean that. Hmm. A 
pussy. Dude boy, hello. Let's see. Okay, so I think we're all good here. Hmm. And we're gonna continue our booking. It's up to you to navigate through each conversation. Booking the choices you think are best. You'll learn that superstar morale can go up or down depending on how the conversation goes and then whether you keep any promises you make. A superstar morale can be affected by how they booked, but you treat them whether you agree to their requests and if you keep any promises made to them. If a superstar's morale gets too low, they may look to leave your brand, so be careful. Hmm. Three for our pay-per-view because of the amount of hate I have for the mortal women. Yes, Lilith, try to keep yourself cool. Time for the... Okay, so... Let's see. Now for God. Where do I run in on your most popular available superstar this week? Is ready for you to see your first thing. So let's see. Roman, Luke Gallows, United States Championship, and the fear on running from Jack Gable. Uh, That's gonna be funny. Which one is the most popular, actually? I think Braun Strowman is the most popular out of this one. The Miz goes obviously the Miz. Becky. Get all the girls to have. Honestly, one of the best match, but uh, like one of the best matches. And of course, Shotzi. Network special. Triple H is waiting to see how he did. Ensure that Bianca cuts a promo this week. 
Così. Bianca Bella will be cutting that promo. Main event. Blow away, Hell in a Cell. Big E Langston. The Megastar. And Car of course, Carmelo. The World Championship. The promo. And Dirty Dom. And let's watch him get booed out of the building because that'd be hilarious. Tables match. Rhea and Asuka versus Natalia and Charlotte. The Women's Tag Team Championships open their match. Kofi Kingston and Otis. And there you guys go. A very fun book match. Uh, let's see. So now it's Lord X's turn. On WCW. No hard bar match would be a great choice for both me and the brand. Iowa Hulk Hogan. WCW, how about Sean? I need one table match this week. How about we'll have the main event be a tables match then? And oh, wait, nah, this is the main event, so let's see. Hollywood Hulk Hogan and John Michaels. There's no titles on the line. Promo. Jinsuke Nakamura. You know, the way he's good. <laughs> Call out. They get one tag match in. Actually, hold on. You know what? I'll throw Boy Born here. Tables match. Kevin Nash. No host bar match. Alright. There we go.
There we go. As you guys can see, we have some matches to play. So Finn Balor versus Solo Sokoa. Let's see, Bruiser Fighter. This is going to be an interesting match. Alright everybody, make sure you pay attention to the matches. Finn Balor has arrived. Say hello to the Prince of Judgment. The following is a last man standing match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! You don't need to say good luck to me, you need to say good luck to the wrestlers, Gabby. The Enforcer, Solo Sokoa. Here comes Solo Sokoa, the Enforcer. This young man right here has a very promising future. You see, if he could beat Finn Balor here, I'd say that he'll be a pretty made man. Competition with ruthless and unflinching efficiency. We've learned that the enforcer of the bloodline is not about talking. He is all action. Well, this man is taking aim at the Prince. Guys, he better not miss. Yeah, it takes a lot of guts to step up to a competitor like Finn Balor. But a win could change his career. The people are chanting for Solo. And we're out of the gate in this last man standing match. Probably strongest test of will. Okay, let's see. Match rules. This is a no disqualification match. WWE has to offer. Coming out on top in this kind of match requires a genetic makeup that very few superstars possess. Get some more and drop. Sakura showing no fear up there. From the top, diving headbutt. Great diving here, but the young man. Let's see. Oh. Yep, yeah, looks like Finn Balor's. Oh, uh, good. Oh, super kick. Nice super kick, kid. Oh. Uh, Adam Masters is being Irish himself. Not putting my money. They on Finn. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Okay, remember, Solo, this is an extreme rules match. Oh, okay. Oh, vicious headbutt. This one is headed outside, guys. Uh, he got a kendo stick. He's got a kendo stick. Oh, Finn stopped it. Oh, uh, broke out. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. 
I guarantee you that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. Oh! Mm. Man. Just brutally punishing his opponent. Samoan Spike. That's one for Sakoa before. Hello, Tira. And there's seven. This is not good. The winner is Solo Sikoa. Our first ever last man standing match, and the winner goes to the Enforcer of the Bloodline. A win for Solo Sikoa here tonight. No doubt about it, though. Finn Balor is going to use this loss as fuel, as motivation. That was dull, that was a dull match. Mmm. Mmm, let's spectate this one. San Diego, California. Make some noise. For the Rey Mysterio Jr. The mid card title. Tijuana, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds. Ray Mysterio Jr. Ray Mysterio Jr. Mysterio fights for his family every day, and even brought his newborn son Dominic backstage, and then left him in a crib in the locker room all day. Little Dom might get used to those bars. What the? Okay. And here comes the big red monster, Kane. A fine addition to Easy Dip. The big red machine. No longer hiding behind his iconic mask. But now there is plenty of demonic rage on his face. And his opponent from the pits of hell. Weighing in at 323 pounds. Kane! What a terrifying sight to behold. What a frightening presence. The evil inside this man. Matched by the frightening amount of destruction. Okay, now that I'm looking at the chat, you guys can go ahead and ask about pretty much anything. So if you got any questions, go ahead and ask me. Here we go, WWE. Ain't on ECW. The World Television Championship is on the line. Now these two gentlemen are alleged are legends in the game. Kane, the brother of the Undertaker. And of course, Rey Mysterio has been a mainstay in wrestling for for years. From the, from the era of the WCW to the current era with his now adult son who is my favorite wrestler you may ask hmm i honestly can't believe we just saw a human 
Who would be my, oh, right, The Undertaker. The Undertaker is by far my favorite wrestler of all time. Once upon a time in, w in WCW, Rey Mysterio Jr. was known as the Giant Slayer. Okay, you got a weapon. Extending their opponent's arm out. Oh, man! Leg drop arm breaker! So, who do you guys think is gonna win? Either Kane or Rey Mysterio? Lilith, of course, says that she want Rey Mysterio to win. Wait, hold on. Lilith, you despise Kane? Why, my dear? The crowd is screaming for tables. Slam. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Uh, Ray Mysterio Jr. is coming back. Yeah, this is Kane from 2008. Once that mask came off, Kane became an entirely the more unhinged and uncontrollable monster. If I remember correctly, he even tried to. Electrocute Shane McMahon's testicles with a car battery. He, what he did to Sands during Sands' journey in the ring? Hmm. Yeah, I've been hearing that she spices a lot of people on the roster and stuff. So, so far, the Monster Kane has been the most dominant one. But Ray Mysterio Jr. here is not about to allow him to just defeat him easily. Stick. Was he? Whatever's plan here can't be good. Oh, my God. Superhuman. Oh, no. His defenses have fallen, and soon he may, too. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Oh. oh Red Mysterio was able to get out. He got the shovel. That was a stiff shot with the shovel. Now a pin for the championship. Shoulders up before two. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. Fails to connect on the springboard. Vicious right forearm. Left by the turnbuckles. And that was taking the attack to the competition. 
competition with that one. Momentum. Mm. You cannot stop Mysterio when he's like this. That's a big boy ring Mysterio just picked up. For Xavier, if you are in charge of the whole WWE show, how are you running things? Well, you guys saw I'm running things fairly well. Well, at least I'm starting fairly well. Uh, let's see. If he loses. Wow. New champion. Here is your winner. Good. Oh, interesting. What a shift into the tides with this championship match. Honestly, Michael, there is no way I can think to describe this other than absolute goosebumps. Then imagine how the new champion feel, Byron. Ooh. Kane. That was a very good match. Hmm. Injury alert. The Maso Champa. Hmm. I'm curious about this four way. Let's see who actually wins the champion. Chip. This is going to be an interesting one, my children. Yes, Big Evil, the Undertaker. of destruction is on display. He may not dress like yes. himself anymore, but he's still down with the devil and ready to get medieval tonight. Yes. The man who has been coveted the greatest streak in WWE history. WrestleMania, the uh, straight wins all the way up to to, to WrestleMania to 21, not to WrestleMania 21, but 21 WrestleMania wins in a row without defeat. And then Vince McMahon had to go and ruin that. So that's the reason why Vince McMahon is no longer in charge and I am in charge. Ah, yes. Priest, Damien Priest. The size of Damian Priest. Gabby. Now, are you simping for The Undertaker? Opposing superstars in WWE. From the moment the Archer of Infamy sets his sights on you, you know. Ah, yes, the Archer of Infamy. He does not miss. Damian Priest of the Judgment Day. Zack is over here saying Puerto Rico.
Yeah, Gabby was simping for The Undertaker, um, Zach. The Fireflies are out, and Bray Wyatt is here. Ah, uh, yes, Bray Wyatt. Once was a cult leader. Next was a part of a tag team faction with Matt Hardy. Then, after that, became basically Mr. Rogers and the Fiend. Finally, this transformation of Bray Wyatt. Wyndham Rotunda. And Sans is saying that this looks like the intro to Shrek. I don't know what type of Shrek you're watching, but okay. Because he's talking about the Shrek is low, Shrek is light thing. Such an eerie and mysterious feeling in here. And the mind games of Wyatt have only just begun. Something very special about this man, Bray Wyatt. He's gonna go far in my company. The time is almost at hand. Bray Wyatt is about to deliver a reckoning. Now then, their next opponent, which is the final one, the Scottish, the Scottish Psychopath, Drew McIntyre, or I guess the Scottish Warrior this time. Shadina the Head Dragon, welcome to my WWE GM mode, aka my WWE Empire. By the way, I think all the champions should have promos next week. Defiant, bold, Drew McIntyre bows to no man. He is as in your face as they come. A mass of man ready to go to war. For the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. <laughs> 
And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. Time to go extreme, ladies and gentlemen. A clash for the title here in this chaotic extreme rules match with Undertaker, Damian Priest. Whoa, okay. Bray Wyatt is taking out the Undertaker, and Damian is Priest is getting beaten by Drew McIntyre. See Shadina. Um, I'm at the, I'm at the check again. Okay. Right. Do not worry. I will send. I will try to send my stuff over to this. Just chat and. The, just chat down in the conversation below and I'll send you my stuff later. Or you can send me yours and then I can friend you. Whichever one you prefer, because I can probably find you better than you can probably find me. Welcome back, baby Victoria. Oh, the superplex. The one who seems to be all right in this match, of course, is Bray Wyatt. Oh, somebody got busted open. Shadina? Well, you guys already know technically my Discord, but I will be putting a new link in the thing, so if you guys want to get into my Discord, you can. And 
insulting. All right, then. Is it? Okay. I see it. Okay, I see it. Let's see. is The Undertaker. Uh, Shadina, you should check it now because I just sent it to you. That was a 100% amazing match to The Undertaker. Of course, the Undertaker is our rightful champion. A rivalry with Bray Wyatt, a rivalry with Drew McIntyre. Hmm. One, two, that's it. Oh, Ronda Rousey had a good match. Yeah, that was a dull match. That was a very disappoint a disappointing match. One, two, it's over. Of course, Kofi Kingston won. Very disappointing. Bianca Belair. Natalya and Charlotte Flair are the new tag team champions. There you don't make Mysterio. Let's see, simulate. The winner and new WWE champion is, of course, AJ Styles. And that was a good. It was good. Let's see. Whoa. Injury alert. The other thing is injured for one week. Well, okay then. Okay. One, two, ring the bell. Almas and MVP. One, two, that's three. Bell. John Michaels beats. Then. Uh, your mid card uh, outperformed the opener of your show, creating a weak start and confusing pacing for fans. And swapping these two matches would have created a stronger start for your show. Really now? Did 
this is the probability that Superstar will become injured in a match. This is going to accomplish the commissioner's goal this week. They have rewarded you with this power card for a thing. Only use all and superstars with less than 60 popularity, okay? Select a opposing brand, double the price of their power for cards in the shop next week. Hmm. Well, this is interesting and not, uh, and this is like very good. Okay, let's see. then okay I'll make sure to find that Shadina thank you for telling me now, let's see God was on top let me start by saying it's all right you didn't get first in the ratings you're still learning there's a lot to take in Like you need to take better care of your suicide, I understand sometimes they need to be in a big match, but make sure they're to plan around that. I'm giving you the health spot power card. So now it's WCW. Omos MVP work well together as a tag team. Is it where's your primary solo champion this week? Okay. Open there. Swap the card raw the performer to the opposite row. Generate extra revenue. Okay, so he will be rested, so Hulk Hogan will not be John Michaels, though. Main event. Casket match. Undertaker. She is in the wrong. Okay. Kevin Nash. Cage, an opener for a cage match. Shinsuke Nakamura and Benji. Let me start by saying, all right, you didn't get first for me. You're still learning. There's a lot to dig in. I should be first. Yeah. 
Just take another caution now that the other thing I had is a stamina of the low 40s. Once again, you're going to injure the lower the stamina, the more so you might the greater risk. Two stars who are completely rested will recover 12 down the points in a week. Those who cut a promo will recover 6 and, be, and can't become injured this week. So, cheating me in the last match. I want a rematch in the next two weeks. At least one last match standing match this week. Anywhere, Damian Priest, Kevin Owens. Here's the World Heavyweight Champion and Kane. Everybody gonna say you should be first. You must have your most popular available female and fight each other this week. Work well together as a tag team, okay? I open the match then. Who's the most popular female wrestler? Charlie Flair. It's gonna be hilarious. We'll see. LA night, yeah.
congratulations on a solid debut first, and the ranking is quite a feat. There was never a doubt in my mind. Uh, look at these fucking guys, you see? There's at least one backstage brawl. No way. Opener. Either way, I'm in it. No clear this match. This is definitely me. Big car, which will be a backstage brawl. And of course, the man. Shotzi and a. No horse bar match. Interference. I don't really have any interference. One, two, that's three. Ring the bell. Yeah, the Da Vinci mediocre match. Match. One, two, that's three. Bring it. Kevin Nash. Now let's see. ECW's Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens versus Damian Priest. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that was a great opening. Now this is going to be a backstage brawl out. One, two, it's over. Bring it. I uh, was very disappointing, but that rivalry does grow. Now it's time to spectate. One of the most intense competitors around. Welcome back, Terrence. Let's see. Tommaso Ciampa. Multiple time NXT champion and has also held the NXT tag titles. And more main roster accolades undoubtedly on the way. And here it comes Ray Wyatt.
Let's actually get to the match. The rules are simple and last man standing. No DQ, no holds barred. Whoever keeps their opponent down for the count of 10 wins. This is a whole different kind of challenge and a whole different degree of toughness. If you win this match, you're just a different kind of superstar. Oh, man. Here we go. Inverted DDT. Fight. All right. to land, but that might be the hardest. And he'll leave the room for this next stretch. What are they going to do? All right. Oh God, no, that's too far. Who's over the knee? You can always find stuff back there. Oh, Bray had it scouted. Good job, Bray. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. Strikes over and over again. Champa getting dismantled here. The aggression from Wyatt is unmatched. It's too early, Wyatt. I don't. Yep. And he's able to counter. Tommaso was getting grinded down, but it might have just made him stronger. DDT spiked him. What a punch! No. Suicide dive. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Catches up. <laughs> Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Clearly, Bray Wyatt's mind game is not quite doing the trick right now. What rage from Champa being shown. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Champa looking to hurt his opponent. Bray needs to find a way to get back. Okay, it looks like it's actually turning around for Tommaso Champa. Tommaso Champa hooking the arm for a fair tail ending. And Bray finds himself in the fairy tale ending. Break it up. Tommaso taking a step back and measuring his opponent. Heading back to the ring. And what's he looking for here? He's got a candlestick. A weapon we've seen used to great effect time and time again. Two, three. Bray loses to a candlestick. That's going to be fucking hilarious. Sister 
Abigail. Just how dangerous Bray Wyatt really is. Champa trying to shake the cobwebs, but it might be too late. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of the submission here? Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout strategy, but it might work. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. He gets back into the ring. Is Bray gonna he gonna win? And Tommaso got up. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Looking for something, anything under the ring. And here comes old faithful. The steel chair is in hand. Oh man, the referee just counted to seven. And he is daring his opponent to face him with the steel chair. Boom! This match is brutality, and they're going shot for shot, blow for blow. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Surprises Bray. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I think Tommaso Ciampa has a chance of actually winning. No, no. Oh, yep. It's over. Oh, it's real over. Champa getting into a place many of us dare not know. Count gets to seven. This is close. This match isn't over yet. Whoa, well, okay, Bright got up. Didn't expect that one. Oh my god, D D T. Oh, either Bray gets up or this is over. I do that DDT. Getting close to ten here. Now you got it. Oh wait, he got up. Back elbow smash, nothing fancy. And Bray has no control here. And Champa shows no sign of relenting. Two, three, four, five. Oh, this is a match. Oh, busted wide open. Could leave him stunned. Each blow affecting his equilibrium. Oh, these are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. Okay. After each of these vicious attacks. Oh no. Oh, is it about to happen? This isn't gonna be good. He's about to get him. Bray setting up. Sister Abigail. Yep, the mandible claw. Jabba is in serious danger. Big back body drop. You see that height on that? And Bray just taunting his opponent now. A 
okay already. We get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. And there's seven. This is not good. This isn't the smartest. That's it. Then Bray Wyatt won. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. This loss acting as salt in the wounds of Tommaso Ciampa. He was focused and precise, but that still wasn't enough for Ciampa to get the win. Bray came back from almost losing. There's no way that was a disappointment. Okay, there's no way that was disappointing. Dominic beat Big E? Okay. AJ Styles, of course, wins. LA Knight, yeah. Oscar won. One, two, that's three. Bring it. Shot C. Injury alert. One, two, that's it. It's over. Hit the I mean, not okay. Logan Paul. Oof. Good booking. Okay. All right, the rivalry. Have you been checking your fans and revenue breakdown after the show? It's going to give you a good idea of what you need to adjust to maximize gain and limit losses. Of course, I've been paying attention to it already. That's good to know. I just wanted to make sure. Great matches, but they also want a, to watch a show with a lot of variety in its fights. Okay. Ensure that your least popular available specialist is in a match this week. Get a tables match going.
Okay, this is over booked. Okay, let's see. The deck delivers one and it's over booked as hell, okay. Hey, my bad. Double all the prices up there.
you taking your fans and revenue breakdown? Okay. Night, yeah. Daddy Dom, Daddy Dominic Mysterio, Rhea and Beck, and Bianca and I'm Becky. I'm gonna say wrong name. Let's see. Get a triple threat. Amila Hayes and Otis. So Champa wins mediocrely. One, two, that's it. These two, Dexter Lewis wins. That was a good match. Oh, Kane ideally won and retained his title. Gable, mediocre. A triple there for the women's world title. Ronda Rousey wins. Injury alert. Ronda Rousey will be out for two weeks. Then. One, two, that's three. One, two, that's three. Let me hear the bell. And of course, MVP and Almas win. L.A. Knight, yeah. That's three. Bring it. Of course, L.A. Knight won. Biggie. Bianca Belair. Carmelo Hayes. Injury for four weeks. Woo. Injury Rehab Spa. And there you guys have it. Damn, MX. But anyways, I think that's enough for now, so I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Oof. That was a little more complicated than I thought, but as we go along, we should eventually get the hang of this whole GM mode thing. And have some fun. Of course, what you guys saw, this little setup won't be the one we we'll be using going forward. So when we come back with this again, we will actually have the proper setup and we'll be right where we continue on previously. So I look forward to that. Um, I think these are going to be recordings due to the fact that I only need one showing of it while everybody else doesn't really need to be shown. But anyways, this has been Exidiosite.exe. Hope you guys all enjoyed this. Man, until next time, my children.